guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. You can kind of already see the box I'm going to be talking to you about today. See, and it's all purpley purpleness. We're going to talk about the Smart Art Box today. So if this is the first time you've ever seen a Smart Art Box, this is an art subscription box, but it has more to it. Not only do you get supplies, but it's almost like an actual art lesson. So you get to learn everything about the art, kind of art type you're doing in here, but it, it actually comes with the magazine. I mean, it's like an, a really cool educational art subscription box, which I really, really love. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. And open it up. Wow. All right, so we got all this orange goodness inside. We're gonna peel this back. Aha! Box, look what's in the box! <gasps> so cool! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my goodness, this is so cool! Let's go ahead and look at the magazine that they sent us. So this little magazine, it it's almost like a ginormous brochure. It's not a real magazine, but what's really cool about Smart Art Box is they tell me like the particular art that we're doing and what we're doing is we're creating a soft pastel portrait and then they give me a couple tips and tricks about soft pastel art and knowing myself as an artist so, uh, pastels are not one of my strong suits but we have some step-by-step -step processes so we have a test pack of the Sennelier <laughs> Sennelier extra soft pastels. So I'm going to go ahead, slip this off. Ooh. And this is really nice to keep these in because they're so messy. Ah! You see how messy they are. They're <laughs> one touch. Look at this. One touch when I was putting them back into little pockets. So this is super nice that they're in this tin box because these are disaster. These are disaster sometimes. <laughs> so this is really cool because this is like a little sketchbook of black drawing paper. This is awesome. Look at that. So if you've never experienced drawing on black paper before, I definitely would give it a try, especially with colored pencils. These are illustration boards. They're cold pressed. So this is really awesome because this is heavy duty. Like look how thick that is. Let me look back. See? This is insane. This is serious artwork stuff. So if you're ever doing a presentation, these things are amazing. I have some shading stumps, shading sticks, whatever you want to call them. And here they are. They're very handy when it comes to like pencil portraits or especially soft pastels or charcoal. It just makes your life easier as opposed to using your fingertip or a Kleenex to smooth some stuff out. These are going to be your best friends. I have a General's Black Eraser. These are my favorite, especially when it comes to heavy duty pencils or even colored pencils sometimes. This this will definitely get most of it up, so these are the best. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse, and I'm going to show you what I would make out of my amazing new pastels. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So this is a closer look of the box and what it looks like. So let's talk about what I chose to do my soft pastel portrait piece on. Um, well, I had the primary colors that came in the package of Senlier, uh, Senlier soft pastels. So I was like, hmm, well, I have these colors, might as well make a portrait of a parrot. <laughs> it just made sense. So I went ahead and I did this doodle portrait of a parrot. I was obsessed with the yellow and the red. Uh, because I don't know, they just seemed creamier to me. And the other one seemed a little bit more chalkier. So it was just interesting to work with like both. I don't know how pastels are actually made, like the soft pastels, but it just seemed like the yellow and the red were so much easier to work with as opposed to the other ones. But I mean, it is a messy, messy medium. So if you see it disappear, you see all the dust that collects his side. I didn't want it on my piece. So I would just go and I put it over into the trash and I made a huge pile of all this pastel chalk. But goodness, it just, I love the way that everything was blending in together very, very well. And I mean, those shading stumps, they are your best friend when it comes to projects like these. I found that the Crescent illustration boards really handled the whole piece really well. If it were like 
I don't know this I just feel like the illustration boards if it it's something to use it's like the big multi mixed media like illustration board I mean this is what you would use for huge projects like art projects that you're going to turn in at the end of the year for uh your final letter grade whatever class it's in these are going to be really impressive to faculty or teachers just to have like a final piece on this board and I really loved that smart art box threw about five of them into my box and I'm so excited to use them for future projects because they're going to come in handy if I ever have a huge presentation or a final piece that I need to give to someone for a gift or something but yes this whole overall box has just like everything just made me happy and it was just super vibrant look at all that mess so <laughs> that's the only thing I mean touch your face and you're not gonna be able to walk around without people staring at your face <laughs> So wasn't that a lot of fun? I love Smart Art Box because they challenge me. They have challenged me so many times in the past because they make me do stuff that's out of my comfort zone when it comes to art projects. So I mean, I'm always willing to try different crafts or different art styles, but really, Smart Art has pushed me past my limits at times. <laughs> I really appreciate that too, because as artists, we should learn to grow, and not only is Smart Art Box helping me grow as an artist, but they're also like teaching me about these different projects and these different art types and forms and projects and they're just amazing so I'm gonna put their website right here and I'm also gonna put their website down below in the info box I hope you enjoyed this thank you smart art box for once again sending me a wonderful box of glorious art supplies and this box is just so pretty I love it <laughs> thank you for watching and I will see you all later bye do 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 do.